He was Austria's gift to the world of cinema. Arnold Schwarzenegger, back in Vienna and taking centre stage. Here he gathered together politicians, business leaders and campaigners to talk climate change and to vent his frustration. Look what happened on, at the G7 summit. Do you see what happened? Nothing. Nothing. At the age of 73, he's become a passionate activist, convinced that the key to solving climate change doesn't just lie in confronting political leaders. It's a very good solution, but not the only one. We should also build a from-the-ground-up movement. We should educate the public so that they are with the programs, so that they know what the dangers are and the dangers that lie ahead. And it has nothing to do with politics. It has to do with one thing. Let's go and get rid of pollution, because pollution kills people. The Chinese and the Indians are, are putting out enormous amount of issue, uh, emissions. They're not here. Is there any point, in a sense, of, of really a climate change policies that don't include those two giant industrial nations? Well, I think that uh, we shouldn't limit ourselves and should think that the only way we get things done is if everyone is in on it. I don't remember John F. Kennedy saying, we are not going to send a man to the moon unless the Chinese also send a man to the moon, unless the Russians send a man to the moon, unless the Europeans send a man. No, he said, we're going to be the first ones, and we're going to go and do it. So that's leadership. But if that was a sense of purpose, there was also anger and frustration, and from Greta Thunberg, contempt for politicians. The gap between your actions and words is becoming more impossible to ignore while more and more extreme weather events are raging all around us. And as a result, young people all over this planet are no longer falling for your lies. There are plenty of differences between Thunberg and Schwarzenegger, but they are also proof that climate activism has become a broad global church. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Vienna.